ready to rock. Moving in. Target identified. Have mine on. Yeah, man, reason that AK-12, we got this thing fully maxed out to MK MK3. And um, this thing only does 22 damage, guys, and that's with the full upgraded, okay? So you're not going to get the best uh, damage. You're not going to get the best, like, stopping power with this thing. However, you will get some decent accuracy. And, uh, yeah, that guy hit. And uh, you'll get a pretty decent automatic fire rate. I think the AK-12 is one of the best, most sturdiest automatic fire rates with hip fire. The way I built this thing, guys, it's got that short barrel, that standard mag, that standard muzzle. I got a PEC-15 on this thing too, man. And sure, I threw on an ACOG, because a lot of the scopes, a lot of those good dual range Russian dot scopes, they're broken in this game, guys. They don't align properly when you look through the scope, and it fucking ruins them, man. It's so depressing to fucking have an AK-12 and then have to not be able to use, like, the Russian uh, dual-range scopes on them because I really do want to use them. But, hey, man, the AK, the ACOG scope works um, on this AK-12 here, okay, guys? And uh, this thing does have a... Um, you, can, you can change the triggers is what I'm trying to get at. You can, you can go from single to auto and auto to burst. Um, I do have that auto single, just for moments like that when I want to do a nice clean single shot shot there, bud. All right, man. And uh, we're going to be clearing out this Red Phoenix outpost. I don't, I don't think it's going to be too much of a tricky job here. In fact, I might even do this and then the Scandium mine that sits just directly north of this uh, base. Or is it north? I think it's north, yeah. Because I think north, um, and I think east, I think east of this position is... Uh, is uh, the no man's land thing. Um, so yeah, like all that like dusty stuff, the dusty area. Um, so yeah, that's another really beautiful looking area. Really atmospheric, scenic. Let me just fucking knife you. Yeah, this wolf here. But yeah, the AK-12 guys, again, you're gonna have a pretty good solid uh, single shot firing rate as well as an automatic fire mode. But again, that damage is real low, man, okay? But uh, this thing does play well, all right? Position. 
Okay, we're moving to you. Day, baby. So let's clear up this final little building here. And uh, again, once again, thank you guys for being here, man. All right, appreciate you all. And uh, let's let's deal with these guys here. But again, I don't want to get sniped, so. in this area. Outstanding. We've cleared it. Let's disable this. And, um, let's double check it. There's three of them here. So yeah, we just got to get a little closer here. This lava is cutting us off. So we're going to go around to that uh, little bridge thingy. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, all right? Oh, 
And we'll go to that Scandia mine, pick up, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll do a stealth clear as well. So we'll just do another uh, stealth clear. Okay, guys? And, um, yeah, we're playing on extreme no hide. I'm pretty sure I already said this towards the start, but uh, just in case you don't know, now you know, man. Just, just want to cover that. But, yeah, drop a comment. What, what weapon do you want to see me cover, man? If you want to see a spotlight on a specific weapon, let me know. But there's some action going on up there. But, yeah, we see a Bodrock troop here. Yeah, let's just take him down here. I'll show you how well this thing hits. See that? When you do short little controlled bursts, this thing will kick up just ever so slightly. Um, but yeah, again, over the shoulder, very tame, throughout a scope. You want to control those bursts, okay, man? The night vision. Or else this thing will start to kick and it'll start to give in a bit. Um, so that's how you can manage this thing the best. And if we climb up this way, we could get the drop on these guys. front guy. Actually, I'll take them on both. Fuck it. Just mow them down. <laughs> Alright, guys. Done, man. But there was a third. I swear it was a third. Actually, I marked the third guy. That's right, so he's dead. So if we go into this doorway here, he should be lying there dead. We'll confirm it. Yeah, he's done. Cool. Alright, guys. This area's clear. And, uh, I'm gonna make my way to the Scandium Mine now, which is just up that way. Uh, but let's just do a quick double check, all right? Series clear, and now we're gonna cut over that Scandi of mine, and I'll be right back. Beautiful. All right, man, we're at the, we're at the mine, and uh, the Scandi of mine in sector three here, as you can see, bottom corner, one target, automatic fire in his face. Hell yeah, buddy, that's how you do it here, man. So um, just a quick little tip from my little test runs that I've done, um, just in this past couple hours that I've been playing. Um, when you do vision. use automatic fire on a heavy's head, this thing will just cleanly take it off, man, and you won't even need to move the aimer or anything. So this thing's really good. Once again, it really does play it to tune with what I said about this thing being a very good CQC tool in automatic fire, okay? lighting nice atmosphere targets on top of this thing here last time i did this area we went loud and it was a bright sunny day so today we're doing nice atmospheric scenic like fucking really immersive uh setting here let's mark these guys one by one all three of them i'll take the center all right let's do this oh one more target here we got a wolf 
Nice, that's perfect, actually. I'm glad he stuck out, because that means we would have missed him. Standing by. Beautiful, man. Good heads. Time to switch to night vision. Let's see what else we got here. Now we could hit it from going upwards, and then go and work our way down, but we're already kind of on this midway platform. Is that a target right there? I'm wearing mine. No, it's not. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to the ground level, vision goggles. and then we'll work our way up. Okay. So let's just uh, drone it down this way here, and make sure it's clear. targets here were clear. Put my night goggles on. Get to my position. Yeah, so if you ever see me randomly take off my suppressors because I'm using that hot key, which is the left arrow key, when I do my squad regroup commands, and if I do it fast enough, sometimes I press it without using the right bumper, causing me to take off my suppressors, so. Oh, okay. Apparently that wasn't a headshot, but he's done. Well, was definitely a viable option. Don't let the low damage uh, scare you. I know a lot of people will just completely dis... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Disregard a weapon is the word I'm looking for. Disregard. But completely disregard a weapon because the damage is bad. But I mean, like, when it comes to this game, guys, this game doesn't really rely on damage, per se. Um, sure, maybe against drones and, like, uh, bigger units like that. But when it comes to just ground infantry, when it comes to stealthing, when it comes to playing tactically like this, a lot of you guys, you don't really need the highest damage, okay? A lot of you guys are going for those headshots. A lot of you guys are going for that automatic hit where you're just dumping dudes with multiple bullets anyway, so you're gonna take them down. So regardless of the damage, guys, this game, you don't really need to worry about it too much, okay? So that's why I don't really agree with, like, <clears throat> I don't really agree with, like, um, ignoring a weapon. 
just because the damage is low because you can have again great results with it go watch any of my videos with the mk18 okay actually i don't have too many i think i did one i did camp phoenix on stealth go check that one out all right if you really want to see the ak12 or you sorry you really want to see um the uh, the mk18 in action all right Yeah, it looks like more reinforcements kicked in. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna take down this one wolf here that's in the corner here. I've already marked him for my team. There we go. No one have to worry about him. And then these reinforcements here, they're gonna be doing whatever they're gonna be doing. Wow, <laughs> just like ran his buddy over. This is the whole part of Ghost Recon where it's recon, man. You got to do some recon. So that's what we're doing here right now, okay? We're just watching what's happening. These guys just crashed into the thing. Are you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> Fuck it, that's so funny. Look at these idiots. They can't even drive. <laughs> all right, so you know what we're going to do? All right, man. You know what we're going to do here? Let's, uh, yeah, they're all getting back in. <laughs> you can see the wheels, like, flipping back and forth. <laughs> all right, guys, so I got that top guy marked. I got the gunner marked. Eyes on the target. Killed him. Nice shooting. Activating night vision goggles. Following your lead, Nomad. And then, uh... We'll finish working our way up top. Here. This guy's gonna run away. Perfect. Way to get some. You gotta find that second guy now. We'll deal with them after. Rally on my position. I have a feeling the aim is going to start to try and investigate this area. Those drones tend to hear sounds, um, even when you're in stealth. So sure, it may not know where I am, but it'll try to investigate an area where the dead bodies were found. It might pick up on me, so we're just going to be moving up this way. Um, and then we're going to just aim down this hill, and then we'll pick off whoever we missed. And then after that, we can use our Pathfinder Amaros, take out that aim, and then we'll clear out any little guys who might be inside the mine left, okay? So that's, that's the plan here today, so let's do it. Because I hear a lot of voices, and they're probably again in Coming that mine. In. Activating mine. Let's get a little higher here. He's done. Here's a good point here. Beautiful. Yeah, it sounds real quiet here. Okay, so we're actually gonna just parachute downwards. And um put my night goggles on thing up here. Okay. Cool. I still hear voices though. I I have a feeling there's someone inside this building down here. That's where I think they might be. Yeah, let's parachute down here. And we'll just go and check it. Just like that. actually go inside just to be safe because if that turret on the top of this building opens up at least we're in cover here right so we'll see how it goes here and uh the aim guys 
with the uh, Pathfinder class with the Amarash drone, it should do it in two strikes with an aim. Um, with, with the behemoths, that'll take a long time to de-armor them and all that, but with the, with the aims, you'll see this now. Just a couple direct hits should do the job, all right? Nice, that was a perfect one. And you'll already start to see these things be injured, like... So yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about these aims on doing stealth on extreme. Just deal with them at the end. And uh, just like that. Look how easy that was, man. They're not very armored, right? So those soft parts are really, really exposed. And uh, you can really lean in on that and take advantage of that. Um, and that's what we're doing here with that Pathfinder class, right? So we're all done here. And now we're just going to clean up whatever's left in the actual mine shaft itself, okay? I don't know if I should say mine shaft, mine cavity, mine cave, mine tunnel, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple of them here. And uh, we're going to go ahead that way now, okay? You can see the opening right there. in here yeah we're right here beautiful here. One more nice everything's calm here too yeah we have one uh, sentinel back here as well we'll take him down and that should be it man over right here oh boy <laughs> oh boy indeed cool just one more target back here make it a fourth yeah there he is Perfect. Damn. Nice one, killer. So I think we're all wrapped up here. I do hear some voices in the distance. I heard someone say, show yourself, but I'm pretty sure that's someone outside of the base. Like they're not actually in the base. Is there anything on this table here? The collectibles or whatever. I'm pretty sure you have to go to here for a mission. Um, and I just don't remember which mission that was, but yeah, there's probably something here relative to a mission. And it looks like we're back outside here, yeah. Yeah, we're all done up here, guys. Well, that's the AK-12 and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Got mine on too. Um, mine on. I don't see anyone here. But we're gonna do a quick run with the uh, drone to double check it. And, uh, we'll make sure we cleared it out, okay? What I'm gonna do is just double check, like, specifically these tunnels here. Um, just to make sure we didn't miss anyone. And, Cause there's a couple different ones, right? Yeah, like, this doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, these are all like closed off here. Um, and then there's one more tunnel we gotta check and it should be. Yeah, is it this one? Yeah. I don't know, there's not too many. There's like a couple, right? And then there's the one we went through. These aren't very deep or anything. They're just kind of like little like wraparounds that uh, connect to the entrance and exits here. Um, so yeah, that's really it, guys. It's pretty much clear here. We, we finished it off. There's some gear here for me to collect, so I'll go do that on my own time, and uh, <laughs> I'll let you guys go, man. All right, so that's it. That's 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 the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop a like and leave a comment. It really helps the, with the video if you did enjoy it. And uh, and as always, thank you for watching. That's the 8K12, and take it easy.